Okay, I really can't wait to talk about this game. Uh, we all love talking Eagles football with you, Donnie. And here we go, Eagles at Vikings. Philly, Minnesota. Minnesota opening up at minus three, and we have a big Minnesota Vikings fan in the chat. Our guy Teddy B in the house. Total here is the same as New Orleans Jacksonville game at 44. It's actually down to 43 and a half in a couple books. Okay, so I don't want to talk too much. I'd much rather hear Donnie talk about the Eagles than myself. But clearly, we all know this is a tough matchup for Philly. And I'm still very confident again with my Philly Eagle future bets division conference. And Super Bowl, but the Eagles are very banged up here, and Donnie will give us the most latest insights on how banged up they are. The question is, Donnie, is there secondary? It just seems like it's an absolute mess. And Cousins and Thielen responded to the criticism. Now, they did that to a weak Giants defense. Can they do it to this Eagles defense? With Cousins and Thielen, and my thinking is sometimes you need a game against a weak defense to get your confidence back, and it seems like that's what we've seen from the Vikings. Wentz will need to put up some points because Cousins and the Vikings will, and that leads me to the over, Donnie, over 43 and a half, and the Vikings. At this point, let's see what Donnie has to say about his Eagles in mini. I, I agree with your sentiment on this. When we're trying to take a look at a side, you know, between these two, they're two really good football teams. Oh, well, Kirk Cousins stinks. I mean, Kirk Cousins is going to be fine. The, the, the Minnesota Vikings are going to have a pretty good season, as we predicted even in the summer. But taking a look at the struggles of what the Philadelphia Eagles don't really do well, that's defend against speed, especially at wide receiver, if the quarterback's going to have some time to throw. Now, a lot of those pressures were alleviated when you play the New York Jets. You know, we can't get to the quarterback. Now we get to the quarterback 10 times, you know, from a, a defensive line perspective going against the Jets. But, you have a hunt, what, 120 yards, whatever the Jets actually accumulated last week. You have to take a look at that and really back it out. But I do actually like the over in this football game. The Eagles have showed whether or not they have a single wide receiver that's available, they can put up points. 32 opening week, no wide receivers against Atlanta, still got 20 going against Detroit, still banged up at wide out, 24 points. Green Bay put up 34. The Jets, 31 points, even though two of those came from defensive scores, but it's still tacked on. To the principle, if we're looking at a Minnesota team, I loved what they did last week. They ran up and down the field almost for 500 yards, 490 to be exact, whereas the New York football giants who have a really bad defense. I think the points will be there. I think they had that kumbaya moment where everybody was mad. Everybody wanted to get off. You know, Diggs didn't really do his thing, but Adam Thielen was wide open the entire game and the football was delivered. I actually like the total going over more than like a side in this one, Jimmy. So do I. So do I. Yeah. But I am leaning towards... The Vikings, if I gave you a $500 free play on the side, a big bet, big score bet on a side, who would you take, Eagles or Vikings, at the three? It's, it's, hard. it's so hard to win on the road in the NFL. It just is. Now, if we're looking, again, I'm going to round, take, take a quick approach to this. If the Eagles were a little bit healthier at the cornerback position, I would really like the Eagles getting the three points. But they're going on the road. It's going to be a loud environment. It's going to be in a dome. You don't have Deshaun Jackson. Should the Eagles score points? Yes. But honest to God, you know, same thing. If this game was in Philadelphia, I would really like the Philadelphia Eagles. Since it's in Minnesota, I'm going to side with Minnesota early in the week until I see some of these reports coming back of what's actually going to be available on Sunday. I agree. And uh, the over in the Eagles-Vikings game – and the under in that Seahawks game are the totals that appeal to me most, uh, especially the over here at Eagles-Vikings. Uh, in fact, this could end up being my two-unit play in the pick-six contest. 